So in 2024, um, I'm currently 20 years old and something that I've been seeing a lot and is a reoccurrence within my generation is that people around my age are starting to feel very lost and they don't know what to do in life. Um, a lot of people in their 20s feel like they have absolutely no direction, no path, and maybe the future seems a little bit blurry to them, which is understandable in a way. Um, I know for myself, I definitely feel very lost in terms of how I want to go about my life. Not to say that I'm like a lost cause, it's just I need some guidance in terms of what I'm going to be doing next. And I, I feel like a lot of people, especially like you guys watching this video, could relate regardless of if you're in your 20s or if you're in your 30s, your 40s, maybe in your teenage years. Everyone needs guidance. And I feel like the idea of me being lost is okay. I think a lot of people put it upon the younger generation that they have to figure things out right now. Like you have to do what people did back then. Get a job, or sorry, go to school, get a job, and then work and slave away your entire life until you die. God damn, man. That is a crazy thought. And not to say that in like a really um, rude way for obviously the other people who have to work those nine to fives. You know, it's just personally, I can't picture myself doing that for the rest of my life. And it's a really scary thought because I, I don't want to be spoiled saying that. But it, like, obviously, I've, I've worked not full time, just part time. And I, I do get the struggles at times, um, even being a part time worker. Like, it's it's hard. Especially, you know, going to the workforce and then having to create a routine for yourself and doing that for the rest of your life. Like, for me, I'm just not built to do that. And having that in mind, plus knowing the fact that I'm going to be graduating university within a year and a half and I still don't know exactly what to do, even with that degree, is a crazy thought. Like, I feel like people are just rushing all the time. Like, I, I never understand that. Like, why are you rushing so much? People are rushing to get out of school. People are rushing to get a job. People are rushing to get into relationships, to grow up faster. Like, yes, I know, obviously, some people are put into a position where they have to do that. And, you know, obviously, I'm fortunate enough that I don't have to do that. And I'm speaking this, I'm speaking out for all the people who are in my position. You don't really have to rush. You know, you, you could slow down a little bit. I think, um... Yeah, I think the whole problem is that people are just trying to do things so fast. I don't know if it's for status, if they want to, you know, have a more stable life. Like, there's a lot of good reasons, but I think we're just trying to try to be better, you know? Why am I trying to be better than someone when I'm in my 20s, when I don't even understand exactly what I want as a person? And I feel like a lot of people understand that, too. They understand that very well, you know? I'm just trying to make sense of what the hell I want to do in the next five years, right? Like, I don't really care, you know, as long as it's stable and, you know, like, I truly like what I'm doing a lot, then I think I'll be fine. But obviously, that's unrealistic. I can't just be thinking about that because we don't live in a perfect world. And so that then it completely spirals, you know, it's like, I don't want a nine to five, but I know that eventually I'm going to have to get a nine to five and it, it goes full circle. And it's like, I don't even know if I'm going to get a nine to five due to all like the job shortages that have been happening. Um, and it's kind of scary because I don't even know if I could get a job with my degree. You know, it's, it's, it's a scary thought. There's so many different things that could happen. And it's, you know, it's not a good thought, but that's why like, I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna keep pushing forward, you know? I don't know, like, why, why do I have to figure out everything right now? Why can it take me time? Why can't I figure out when I'm in my 30s? Why can't I figure out when I'm like, what, like 35? Maybe like when I'm 28, when I'm 41, you know, like, why do I have to do it now? Is it because like, I'm trying to stabilize my life? Like, I get that part. But like, I don't have to have it together yet. And I think a lot of people think that they have to do it now too. I don't know what the whole stigma is. I don't know what the whole problem is, but... I think taking your time 
and really in getting to know what you want is exactly how you get out of that loop. I think often we're told to do something from someone else or we're influenced by another party, you know, from another individual to do things a certain way. And then that leads us down a path where it's something that we don't want. And then that, that creates, yeah, once again, we, we spiral down and it's just like, how do I even get to this point? But it's because you let yourself based off of other people's decisions to get to that point. And it's just really sad. It's really sad because then it's like some people don't get out of that loop. But if you're willing to take the steps to benefit yourself and then eventually get to the point where you get out of that loop, then things will get better. I would, I would hope so. And once again, like I'm, I guess I'm feeling lost because I don't know exactly what to do in my life. But I know later down the line, as I go through experiences, as I talk to people, as I, you know, learn different skills and whatnot, I guess more opportunities will be brought up. It'll be more open. And I can definitely learn about a bunch of new stuff. And that can take me to another path that I never thought of doing, right? Like, I could be in school right now. That won't mean shit. I'm, I'm going to be serious. Like, I don't give a shit. It won't mean anything to me because I don't make meaning out of it. But I don't know. Who, who knows? Like, maybe I might sit down and have, like, a really good podcast. And then that takes off. And then next thing you know, I'm making podcasts. And then I'm freaking... I'm interviewing Drake. Like... You know, it's like stuff like that spirals down and then you find purpose. You find meaning through, you know, something you've been wanting to do and exploring your options. And by rushing things, you're never going to figure that out, right? But if someone, if someone tells you do this and do that and keep doing it, you're not going to figure it out because so, you're listening to someone else. Like an example, school, you're being told you have to go to school for how many years, like, let's just, like, what, like, elementary school was, like, 10 years for me, high school was four, another four for freaking university, like, that's 18 years, 18 years, and then if you go, obviously, to have a more additional years after university to get, um, I forgot what you call it, but, like, just um, a better degree, I guess, that's way more years, of your life you're basically slaving away like maybe like one third or one fourth of your life that's crazy 33 percent of your life is already slaved away and then if you don't even get what you want that's even crazier to me you know you're getting even more lost because you're not listening to your gut and who knows maybe you could have worked for a couple of years and you didn't even have to go to school and then you could have used that money to fund into something. It's like there's so many different options and so many different opportunities, but yet you're listening to someone else. And you're still in the same position. And then you wonder why. Why do I feel lost? It's because you're not doing anything about it. And that's just, it's crazy. It's just a crazy thought. We're, we're staying in the same spot because you don't want to do anything. So like, I guess it goes back to the whole idea like, feeling lost in your 20s it's just there's no guidance there's no path and you're listening to other people influencing your decision and that's leading you to go nowhere and once again it's okay if you realize what you have to do 10 years from now if you realize what like six years from now 15 years 25 it's like as long as you figure out and then you just start doing it i think that's okay but it's also another thing to not be stupid and like listen to people around you, get feedback, but just don't let it dictate your decisions and how you're going to be moving up in life. Yeah, I, I guess this is coming from a place where like, I feel like maybe that's happening now. Like, I, I feel like I'm not really taking control of what I could be doing and I'm not taking accountability of the right decisions. Like, right now, I'm feeling lost. I should just start something. And I think you guys should too. You should start a goal. You know, have a dream. Have steps to work towards that dream. And then eventually, I guess it'll just, you know, it'll happen. And then suddenly, those days of you rotting away on freaking TikTok and scrolling mindlessly through Instagram and Twitter is going to stop because you finally have something to look towards, you know? 
look yeah look towards yeah and you know you'll only focus on that one thing day and night and once you get it yeah you just you just won't feel lost anymore and i think that's what everyone has to do like especially me i have to take that advice because i'm just not in the position i want to be in but it doesn't mean i'm going to be there forever yeah um yeah you won't be there forever take action do what you gotta do and make sacrifices if you don't make sacrifices you will not get out of that feeling of being lost and you know feeling lost in your 20s will turn into your 30s turn into your 40s will turn into your 50s your 60s 70s 80s 90s and then you know hundreds and then you just you just die you're just gone and you never had a chance to get out of that feeling of being lost. And it's unfortunate that people have felt that before. They've they died not feeling fulfilled of what they wanted to do. So seriously, get out there. Do stuff. Like, just get the hell off your phone and do stuff. I've learned that, yet I still go on TikTok sometimes. I've learned to just push it away. Like, really just... Push it away and work on what I want to do, which is YouTube. And I should continue to do that. And you guys should continue to do whatever the hell you want to do. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other suggestions, then please leave it in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.